Secondly, we want Jannatul Firdaus. The day that we are taken away, we want a good death. You know, when you hear that someone died in the month of Ramadan, obviously it's great news. There is a chance that that person will be looked at with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they've died a natural death and they have not openly gone against the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have not usurped the right of another. So you know, people say, oh, this person died in Ramadan. They're going straight to Jannah. Well, there is a little bit of detail in that regard. If a person commits suicide, for example, in Ramadan, what about them? We say, leave it to Allah. It was wrong for the person to do that. It is punishable. You and I know that suicide is haram. But if a person has done something evil in the month of Ramadan, then can we say that they're going to go straight to heaven because they died in the month of Ramadan? The answer is no, it's up to Allah. We know the warnings. We know how prohibited it is, but we leave it to Allah. The same applies. If a person is a drunkard and he doesn't fast and he dies in Ramadan, perhaps Allah may look at him with the eye of mercy, but it doesn't mean, not necessarily, that he will fly straight into Jannatul Firdaus. Let's remember this. So there is a little bit of detail. If you have stolen someone's wealth, you have usurped a, per, a person's uh, right, or you have, for example, oppressed someone, you cannot expect if you were to die in Ramadan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will simply grant you Jannah without taking account of what you did to other people. You stole their wealth. What about that? You need to answer. You, you oppressed someone, you swore them, you made life difficult for them. You need to answer. So these are all details governing the death. However, it is indeed a blessed death to die in Ramadan. We cannot deny that. It's like it's a blessed day. It's a blessed death if a person were to die, for example, in Makkah al-Mukarramah, in the Mataf, in the Haram. It's a blessed death. We indeed acknowledge that it's blessed. That blessedness is because either the timing is blessed or the place is blessed. A person who passes away in Salah, Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant that to us. And if you want it, remember, increase your Salah, so you increase the chances of passing away in Salah. A month back, I'm sure we saw one of the reciters of Indonesia who passed away while reading the Quran. Subhanallah. It was something unique. I'm sure we all make dua that Allah grant him Jannah and that Allah give us also a good death. So my brothers and sisters, we should be concerned about the hereafter. If you live with a concern about how you are going to fare in the hereafter, Allah will give you a good death, inshallah, inshallah. You are concerned about how you are going to fare on the day of judgment. You read your salah, you give your zakah. Inshallah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will have a beautiful death and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take you into his mercy. Someone passes away, what do we say? Rahmatullahi alayh. Intaqala ila rahmatillah. The person has passed into or crossed over into the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah have mercy upon all of us.